What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your boy, the Wolf of Crypto. Got another video here for y'all today. This is a particular platform that I'm actually excited to bring to y'all and talk about here. Uh, it's called Drip.House. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that here correctly. This is a NFT platform that is based on Solana. So you will need a Solana compatible wallet to go ahead and use this platform. Now, before we dive into some of the other different features on this platform because there's quite some work that you can do here that can kind of keep you occupied and keep you busy as far as getting some different nfts spending your collection and all that good stuff so as you guys can see right here this is kind of like a dashboard there's a lot of different creators different channels that you can subscribe to to obviously get that you know particular art and then even from there that's where it doesn't really stop there's actually a little bit more work to actually put you in a better position depending on whichever channel you're subscribed to to actually get you a little bit better chances of getting those rare type of nfts so as you can see these are the recommended channels here um these are my collectibles before we kind of dive into my collectibles we're going to actually go ahead and play the game now <clears throat> this is what they call uh, the legendary locking game right so this is pretty easy i mean you can do it daily the thing is it gives you a better chance of getting that lock in for a legendary or rare nft so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try our luck real quick right now i have had the opportunity to win legendary rare obviously today that did not happen and if you want to share on twitter that you got rugged you can do that sometimes i do sometimes i don't it is what it is right so obviously that sucks we didn't win but i have won in the past because we'll go through my collectibles and you can see that one in the past now we come up here this is where your droplets are you can claim these every six hours so uh, not, not purchased let me go ahead and claim that give me one second let's see how many we get man we got five and it says see you in six hours so that's one thing that you gotta keep in mind if you want to keep earning your droplets instead of having the ability to purchase them, which you do have the capability. So if you do want to purchase some droplets, it looks like right now they're having some special offers, some discounts. So, um, and this is something that for their platform, this is what you're going to use for pretty much any type of engagement that you want to do as far as like contributing to the creators, um, thanking the creators. So anything like that, that you're doing on this platform you'll be using droplets so you do have the opportunity to purchase those in case you do run out because you know you're donating a lot of droplets because there might be some creators that you are following out there that you really you know rock with their art and you know because all this art right now is free excuse me and i believe you can list them um on the open marketplace like magic eating and stuff like that uh, if you do decide that you want to sell some of these artwork now me personally I'm actually thinking about go ahead and taking some of these art, maybe even turn it to some merchandise because some of the artwork is pretty dope. So this right here is my collectibles. Um, now, keep in mind, I've been collecting since I discovered the platform, which might have been, I would say, let's see if I can go all the way down. I want to say like maybe December 1st or something. Let's see. Just kind of give you guys an idea. Yeah. Oh, scratch that. So it looks like I started around in November, closer to Thanksgiving. So we're going to start at the top because as you guys can see, like I said, I've been collecting and I'm enjoying it. So keep in mind, some of these NFTs are not just photos. Some of them can be videos. Um, the variety of them, you know, kind of really depends on which challenge you're following. Right. So. Take this one example right here. This looks like this might be my most recent one. This one came in on the 30th. This looks like this one might just be a picture. Yeah. So this one right here is just a picture right here. Volume one, second tile, black and white. This one is a rare, but so check this out. So if I wanted to thank this contributor or creator, I should say, I would come here. I would say, you know, how many droplets I want to go ahead and thank that particular creator for. I could put in my username for my Twitter. They'll see it. You can leave a message as well. 
um, obviously these two things right here are optional but you know it's kind of cool you know if you want to add something a little bit more personable because let's say that particular drop that you know just came in your wallet you're like wow that was really dope you know you want to add a little you know a little extra there so that's how you do that and like i said if you want to even like it right here liking is a quick way to show your support so when you like it it's one drop it right they could be charging right um i'm not for sure if that's something that might come on this platform i highly doubt that seems like this platform is all about just bringing more i guess subscribers and creators and kind of onboarding people into the solana ecosystem maybe this might be a little easier way to get some people into the nft space who knows and right here you see the metadata this is all the different artwork that's coming from this particular drop right here and then let's go ahead and go back i would say majority of my platform is probably going to be more really common uh nft work but at the same time some of this artwork that i have been collecting i mean it's pretty cool uh and again it's free right so who doesn't mind getting free nfts free artwork from there you can do as you please right so again as you see right there i got a legendary right here but before i let you guys go the last thing we're going to really check out here is the discover page and this is where you'll basically find all the different channels um obviously you'll see i'm subscribed to a lot and then you can see how many see, people are, are subbed to the channel just in general um asset dash i'll be probably doing a video about them pretty soon here uh they actually also have an app that's kind of cool about uh tracking your nft portfolio so this is where you want to come to find basically all the different channels that you subscribe to for me i'm like you know what i figure i'm going to subscribe to pretty much everything on here um because it's kind of really hard to say what artwork i guess i don't find appealing but i look at it from a different perspective everybody has their own you know thing that they want to do but keep in mind here folks this were right here where you see perks um as you're going through these different channels and you know kind of just scrolling around trying to figure out who you want to subscribe to keep in mind those perks actually are little what objectives challenges uh that's gonna like i said earlier was gonna be putting you in a better position to get like legendary type of nfts ultimate nfts those rare nfts so any you know specialty nfts every single channel i would say for the most part has something where they have some type of perk that you got to do to put you in that position so again this is a really cool platform man it's all nfts you can check out the leaderboard on each nft so you can obviously see where you're at um if you're trying to track that to put yourself in position to get you know something that's guaranteed um obviously it shows the latest people that have been thanking uh and then see right here it says look all thankers receive a guaranteed rare. All thankers each week are also entered to win one legendary in the next drop. So, again, back to what I was saying as far as this platform will keep you busy. Those challenges, those objectives like this is something that you got to keep in mind. If, like I said, if you want to come back in here pretty much daily to just build your portfolio. But... Nonetheless, that's pretty much going to, I would say, wrap up the platform in a nutshell here. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, please, you know, hit that thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, share with your friends if, you know, you find that they might find this particular content interesting. And then also, too, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys leave those questions in the comments below or any other things in the comment section down below. But that's going to wrap it up right here, folks. So again, this is a platform. It's on Solana. Um, it's another way to go ahead and increase your, like I said, your NFT portfolio, your NFT collection, your digital art collection, whatever you want to dub that as. This is a platform that's going to help you get there. So I'm your host, The Wolf of Crypto. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you learned something. And um, until the next time, Y'all take it easy. And oh, like I said, don't forget, hit that bell to be notified for any future videos. I am the Wolf Crypto. Peace.